leather soles as well. Quite well, light leather. Leather against pavement is better than rubber against pavement. See there, it's Tang Seven, that's me there. Right, I've got a parcel, a big brown parcel, uh, with something very, very exciting in it. It cost me quite a bit of cash, and uh, took a week, took about half a week to come, and uh, it's, it's finally come. And uh, what he says on the front here is uh, styled in England, Catsby Shoemakers. Ah, let's see what's in this, shall we? So I'll take the lid off. Whoa! I'll show you what they're in a minute. Got a bit of ASMR quality in it. Oh, receipt. Put that down there. And uh, this is what we've got. Some brand new Thomas Edward. Uh, could be trademarked one day, this style. Thomas Edward uh, dealer boots. Very, very shiny as well. Look at that. Ain't they good? And, and uh, more importantly, leather soles as well. Well, I like leather. Leather against pavement is better than rubber against pavement. So you can't beat the feel of leather underneath. Proper pro stuff. Now, this isn't the first time I've bought dealers. I've bought dealers since I was 16 years old, about eight years ago. Um, and I'll show you my very first dealership uh, uh, pair I ever bought when I was 16. That was in a holiday in Downshire. And I wanted some uh, dealers, my first dealers, because uh, I was fed up with tying shoes up. And I wanted to, at the time I was studying music, and I wanted to be a bit of a, a bit of a style, and I wanted to have some good boots on stage, and just being a, a character really with my boots. It was probably when I first developed me, my character. I was then when I was sixteen. Um, so I went and for thirty-five quid I bought these. Now these are called London uh, Heat Checks. Um, and they are Catsby, they're exactly the same as Catsby. I think they're either what Catsby used to be before it was, or it was someone nicked the idea. I can't, I can never really work out what these are compared to the Catsby's, but they're exactly the same leather soles. But the problem they have is you wear them for four years, and they end it for four years, the, uh, the sole knackers. These are really sharp. Look at these, these are snappy and half, these are completely sharp. Now, this, uh, this is the early signs of being a hoarder, this is, because I've got my first pair of boots well, I haven't worn for a few years. Yeah, well, I got them, wore them from 16 to 19 years old, and then from 19, my mum got me these for my birthday, some more, and these lasted me now to 2021, until the other day I got a bit wet, and they, cause they've got holes underneath, and bits of stones getting it, and it's a bit, a bit naff, really. So yeah, they're my boots. Yeah, it is, it is early signs of being at hard, isn't it? I'm going to have a house full of stuff eventually. No, but we won't let it get to that. I've only got loads of boots because I have a big shoe rack and I just buy a new pair of shoes. It just goes in a rack and there's loads of room for all my other boots. So I haven't really had the need to chuck them out. But they're all very, very important, these boots. Oh, they were first sort of gigs shoes when I was a bass player. Um, Finland and them, them I went to Sweden and them. Did a TV show and them in Sweden. Um, so they, you know, they've gone on a lot of travels with me. They've and they, they started the TE Thomas Edward Showbiz in YouTube. They did. Wow, it's amazing. Isn't it? You'll see that in quite a lot of my videos. These shoes. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Um, some quite recent videos as well. You know, if you if you look for the TV dealer boot, big brand one there that was. It looked like Tom Edward. So I've got these new ones because you know I need a new pair. So these will last me 24 this year. So these last me up to 28, hopefully. If my boot, if my shoe, if my feet don't get any bigger. I'm a size 8, so hopefully these will last me. And what I do when I get my new boots, I buy some wool inserts because uh, the trick I found for breaking in shoes if you get some of these, put them in your boots, it stops your feet moving about so you've got tighter fit. So when you're breaking them in, you've also got a bit of comfort as well. Why I wanted dealer boots originally when I was 16 is because I was into at the time, well, I still am. 
goes into Jimmy Nail. Yeah. Uh, Aye, uh, well, it's on a charge sheet. First person to be forcibly ejected since the Argentinians. Aye, quite annoying that. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well, actually, wasn't all doing to me. What happened was, I had a, I was standing this bar on my own. You know, I made my own business, you know what I mean? And uh, next thing was, in watches these bloody pallet troopers. Oh. Did I come across them? Yeah. What a bunch of heater balls. Anyway, next thing was, crash bang wallop. And I'm being marched up the gangplank with bloody Hercules between two Greek gnarly MPs. For what a journey that is. Can hope we ruin the world now. You see, a bog on Ascension Island. Yeah. Rough, was it? It was neat picnic. <coughs> it's a Sierra Sapphire Cosworth, apparently. It's a beast. I used to have a Bonneville years ago. <laughs> Always wanted a Harley though. Used to dream about owning one, but mad about watching him play music and do his acting, you know, from Avidas and Pet all the way doing Spender, Crocodile Shoes. And he's big, all his stuff he's ever done, he's always got a bit of American themed stuff in. Now, I couldn't afford cowboy boots, you know, proper real units, so I was like, next best option, dealer boots. So I went and found some dealer boots, what you've just seen down there, my first pair, when I was 16. Uh, and from there, the, the uh, Thomas Edward style sort of started to develop. A few years later, I got me flat cap. Um, and we were off, and we, you know, I've worn them ever since. It's so another fleece one in that one, a wool one. But you might be thinking, where's your posh shoes, Tom Edward? Now, my posh shoes are the classic dealer look, what people go for. The you know, dealer boots are big. They're called Ch Chelsea boots now. What's well, a bit of a fetty word in my head. Dealer boots are proper working man boots, you know, Chelsea boots. Have people turn up from Range Rovers and don't have any dirt in the boots. That's what a Chelsea boot is. Now, some of the posh boots, I have some here. Catsby as well, same make as my other boots. Some brogues, real deal brogues in tan as well. I bought these. Uh, but around the same time I got, my mum got me doers when I was 19, so these about 19 or 20 I got these. And um, these are great, but I only wear these when I'm going out somewhere nice. Oh, didn't see you there. It's Thomas Edward. Welcome to the channel. The 18th of August, 1932, the Lido and Grange Sands was proudly open to the public for the first time. Or when I dress up in my uh, tweed, what I haven't shown you yet. Uh, I once got told once by someone that I could uh, outdress anybody. I could turn up in high vis and proper working clothes and then the next day I could shock everyone and turn up in full tweed, country shirts, nice trousers, brogues and uh, outdress them all pretty much. You know, I'm very, I can be very stylish when I want to. As you might have seen on the Lido, wearing my, um, I wore my duffel jacket and my red scarf and my flat cap and I wore these, you'll, you'll see these. Um, but I don't like ruining them, they've, they've already got, they've got stained. That was on a holiday somewhere, they got stains. It's a bit gutted about that, but you know, it's the character in the boot at the end of the day. So yeah, I only wear them when I'm going to wear nice or filming somewhere nice. So these are my new boots anyway, I thought I'd show you. New dealers, 
for Thomas Edward for the 2021 uh, video actions. I don't know why I'm going to do, but with them, because some, some locations I have to put these steelies on are a, ru a rubber sole. Um, cause, but they use them more good as like a when you when you when you're looking at old railways and you're in a, in a load of bramble, your steelies are really good. These you scratch these, so you can't keep them clean forever. And some people say, oh, you should keep them clean, give them polish. And I do for the first few years, I do polish them up and keep them clean. But you get to a point where the patina looks better because the patina just makes you as the character, you know. So uh, I hope you enjoy this short video. I know it isn't big; it's not much, but it's it's enough to keep the content going. It's a bit of a filler vid. So the idea of my videos coming up is I'm going to have a main video every Monday. So that will be my big main video. So like this video will come after the tank video, um, the Fingerless Phantom of Leyland. This will probably, this will either be on a Wednesday or Friday, it's like a filler vid. And Mondays will be big videos, that's the idea, if I can keep up with it. I have got some videos lined up in, uh, in edit at the moment. But you need a few more bits and bobs, they're quite a big sort of documentary really, in a way. So I've got to get going and get some more content filmed and uh, put it out there every Monday, 9am in the morning, and it's 9am in the morning because uh, I like people to wake up, have a brekkie and a cup of tea, or a coffee if you, if you like coffee, but you know, a cup of tea is the best one. Um, and uh, you know, you watch a TV video, that's the way I want to do it. And then the filler vids will probably go at the same time, or either the Wednesday or Friday at 9am as well. So it'll be all early morning stuff. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. So give me a subscribe and a like and a, a, a comment. Give us a comment. Do you wear dealer boots or do you like them or what you want? What's your thoughts on um, having shoes without laces? I hope you like them like I do. Um, and uh, Remember to uh, click that big bell. <laughs> what is it? Hey, got a lot. Bit of TE fans there. <laughs> oh, didn't see you there. It's Thomas Henry, it's me that is, and uh, you find me sitting on the edge of a roundabout, uh, in the uh, edge of a roundabout, I should say, in the north side of Leyland, and um, I'm sat on a, uh, a Centurion tank. <laughs>